Welcome to tape number nine in the Kamba Hapkido uh, curriculum video series. This tape will bring you to a black belt with white stripe, and we're going to get right back into the category of two hands grabbing two lapels. In this technique, uh, you've seen the movements before uh, in another uh, type of attack, and we'll reinforce it on this technique. From here, you're going to go and trap both of his hands. That's what your objective is. So you don't need to do a different kind of distraction here. Just simply, at this point, as you go into the trap, strike his face as you go in and lock. Therefore, trapping both of his arms to your chest. Then, to reinforce the trap, bring the other hand over. And then, at the same time, since you're doing that, and maybe he's coming back at you, trying to headbutt you, or is still strong, you can hit him again as you come back with the other hand. So you can basically do this, one and two as you're coming in. Once you lock both of your hands here, step back and drive him to his knees. Once he hits the ground that way, take both of your hands again and shoot him out, both of them this way, and get him off you. Very simple and, and very practical technique. So from here again, one, lock, Two, lock, bring him down to his knees, and then from here, of course you have other options if you want to, instead of hitting him in the face, you can hit him this way while still holding him, or you can reach out behind, grab his hair and take him down. But just to simply to get him off you here, best thing to do, one, one, here, and then shoot both of your hands up, follow with a kick if you need to, or get away. In the next technique, number six, which is also the last one in this category, uh, you will recognize again uh, movements and, and mechanics that we have used before in, our, uh, in different attacks. So from here, again, he grabs me, he's strong, I need to do a distraction. So I can come in with the hand here, uh, or I can do a low-line kick, whatever I feel comfortable with. This time you try to get one of your hands in between his hands here, so you're releasing the pressure here and grabbing him here. Then reaching out, grabbing the hair, again, twist and take him down. You've seen this before. Now what can happen, however, is you try to get inside here, he can fight you. He can try to close out. If you, can't, if you try to come from the uh, outside, from the top, he can fight you this way. So every time you trick him, if you're going up, and he does it, then shoot out with the other hand. Or simply go up first, it stops you getting there with the other hand, this way, with the same hand underneath it. So regardless, if you try to go under and he tries to block you, come back out. It's that simple. So regardless of how he tries to fight you, you can still get there. Okay? Uh, from the top, getting straight attack here, tiger mouth, lock, reach the hair, and immediately jerk and take down. Be very careful when you do that in training to your partner. One, two, twist take to the ground, and then finish in a variety of ways. We're going to get back now in the categories of belt grabs, uh, but this time the next two techniques are going to be with the palm up. In the first one, person grabs you by the belt here, trying to pull you, push you into a punch or something. First thing you do, hit the face. First thing you do, hit the face, distract him, while um, trapping by grabbing his wrist, trapping with your cross hand. In this case, it's your cross hand here. One. Then the second thing that you do here, after you've done that, you come back under, you deliver a strike to the back of his elbow. This way. Here. Okay. After you've done that, you straighten up his elbow. You probably hyperextended it. Okay. You continue in one movement, one, and then reach across his chest and grab as far as you can reach to his garment, whatever it is, a jacket, whatever it has, just grab it. Then from here, take a step and take him down to the ground using the arm bar as a leverage. He will drop right in front of you and finish with any number of techniques on the ground. Let's show this one to you again, slowly in detail. He grabs you, one, coming in, Two, reaching out there as far as you can. Three, remember you have the arm bar here that does most of the work. This one here pulls also into you to help him fall down. So from here, don't take a big step in front of you and fall on your legs. Just stay here nice in a good stance and just pull. He'll fall down this way and now, as I said, you have a number of things you can do. 
So your advanced belt by now, you should be able to pick up these things very easily. So that's your first uh, belt grab technique. The next one, it, you recognize immediately because you've done it from so many different uh, parts of the body, different attacks. It's an outside wrist lock, basically. But the way it's done here, in this case, it grabs your belt, ready to hit you again right away, go in with your strike to distract him and, and, and stop him from uh, further attack. So one, then you use an inverted grip on the same side to uh, trap uh, his hand in your belt. So from here, coming out this way. After you've done the distraction here, bring this, the, uh, the other hand down here, grab his wrist here. So now you have both uh, your hands on, it, on his hand and wrist here. From here, push into you. Now step back and he'll go down to the ground very easily. Here you have it. Again, you can go now into an arm bar on the ground or any number of technique and follow-ups here. Okay, let's review the mechanics here a little bit. He grabs you, okay, from here, one. Now, you see, if you grab him this way, it's, it's not as easy to rotate. That's why we tell you to do an inverted grip, because it creates more leverage. When you look at the inverted grip, basically, this is what you're doing, and that's exactly what you're looking for here. So from here, one, bring this one down, and now your hip does the rest of the work. Take him down, and you're in. And that's your second uh, defense against belt graph technique. We're going to continue now in the category of handshakes, hostile handshakes. This one here, again, be very careful when you practice with your partner, extremely easy to dislocate their elbow, okay? From here, person does not want to let you go, becomes threatening or something. What you do this time, sandwich uh, his hand in your hand, putting both hands together, turn it up here. Already you have a lock here basically, but what you're gonna do now using the hip as a delivery system, hit this way the elbow, upward from underneath. Now, extremely uh, dangerous, so be very, very careful when you do this one. So from here, one, two, see my stance, nice, right in stance, very strong stance, from here, bam, one. Then I can finish up, of course, with other things, like letting this, this hand go now, key strike into the body, finishing strike back of the head, bringing him into different lock, many different finishes. So again, concentrate on this part, very easy here, from here, one, lock him, and now with power, with intent, bam, into there, and follow up into the body if you want. Okay, the next handshake, Again, it's a variation of other techniques you've done before. This one is also the same technique that you can do from a cross wrist grab. You need to learn it because it works the same from a different type of situation. In this case, the handshake. From here, move back a little bit in case he's threatening to you here. Move back a little bit, attack the pressure point here while you're still holding his hand. You never release the handshake. You keep the handshake going. From here, step across and under or simply step outside first one and then step behind you and bring him down remember you still got the handshake here so it's easy for you to pull him down okay for one time from this side so you see a little bit different what you do here step outside of his foot that's important as you're reaching for the pressure point there one and bring him out you still got the handshake going there you can actually continue this into a lock switch it to a finger lock, different things that you can do on the ground. Okay, one more time from here, very simple technique, same as from the cross grab. One, and then step behind it and under. From here, you can also turn it into a come along, simply grab his wrist, switch your hand this way, and you can go into a come along. Okay, we're going to get back into the category of full Nelson. Now, uh, prevention uh, did not work, unfortunately, so you are placed in a completely uh, uh, executed full Nelson. From here, remember, first thing you do, lock up your neck, so you don't allow it to bring you down. Drop here in a riding stance for power and balance. From here, immediately, go back with one hand, doesn't matter which one, and search for one of his fingers, regardless if his fingers are interlaced 
or, or the hands on top of each other this way, you will find one. You struggle, you, you, you hit and scratch until you find a finger, and you will find one, you start peeling it off. As you're peeling it off, bring it in, into your body. Don't go out this way, it feels no pain when you go out. As you're peeling it off, okay, come into your body. Use your body as a brace and pull the finger into it. It's extremely painful. Now, when you got him locked up with this other hand here, he, he cannot even get away from the pain. So, you're going to allow him to escape so you can uh, move out on that side. So, from here, you're coming out. Now, from here, you have a couple of options. One is to take him straight down. One is to come around and lock him this way into a choke. And still maintain your wrist, your finger lock here, okay, into you. Extremely painful. You can snap the finger very easily. Okay, one more time. From the side this time, so maybe you can see the, the action of the fingers there. As he puts me in a finger lock, I drop down, I'll start searching here until I find one. I'll start peeling it. I'm going to go this side this time. As I start peeling into me, see how I do it? Into myself here. Very painful. I allow it to escape and I come out this way. Here, you have your technique. Or... As you coming out, okay, as you coming out this way, okay, bring him down to the ground. Here, very painful. If he falls this way, that's okay too. You have your technique here, okay, snapping the finger very easy. So be careful when you practice with your partner because fingers are very delicate. The next full Nelson. You're into the technique already. What you want to be doing this time, again, good solid stance. Shoot your arms up this time, okay? And arch your back back into, into him. As you're doing that, you're putting pressure on his grip behind your head. Shoot your arms up and then shoot the arms down very forcefully. That usually breaks uh, the hole. And not only that, he brings his head forward, which what you, this is what you want right now. From here, immediately, Turn your hip and shoulder a little bit into him, from here, and grab his head, exactly like I did. Coming here, one outside, one inside. Grab his head and violently drop him in front of you, okay? Again, we have no mats here, and we got to be careful. I want to show it to you kind of slow. Bring him here, and down he goes, and you finish on the ground. One thing to remember is that when you're pulling him over to remove your leg so he doesn't drop and take down your leg this way. So be careful with that part. I'm going to do it again here to show you. He grabs you, shoot your hands up first, and then down real forcefully. When? That breaks the hole. Immediately turn. Slap his head as you take him. You've got to weaken him that way. Don't just go there and place your hands. Just slap him. Boom! This way. As you're pulling him down, remove this leg here and drop right on top of him. Remember, your knee, weights of your body right on top of him, strikes to the face, additional locks, groin, anything you feel necessary to survive. And that's your uh, second technique for full Nelson. The next full Nelson uh, defense is the third one for this belt level, but it's number five in the complete series. So from here, as you go, as he, he goes into the full Nelson, what you want to do is prevent him from bending you down. So a, a technique for that is by bringing one hand in front of your forehead and grabbing it with the other hand at the wrist, the top of the wrist. Drop down in a horse riding stance. This puts tremendous pressure on his arm. Very hard for him to maintain the lock behind your head because you're pushing forward with your elbow. At the same time, this braces your head, preventing him from doing this. So from here, again, it, it secures full muscle one. The next uh, step you're going to take is take this leg and go behind him, trap his leg and take him down. One, two. Down he goes, finish on the ground if you want to. Or simply walk away. Let's do it one more time. Uh, this time from the side a little bit. Okay, watch what's going to happen here. One leg steps out in the right sense. One. Then the other leg goes behind. 
two, and the third part of this technique is you raise up, shoot the elbow into him, and he falls down. Okay? One time from the opposite side, I will not take him down now, I'll just show you the technique, all the steps again. From here, one, and from here, two. Step behind him, and then shoot into him. Okay, using your whole body, hip power, shoulder, arm, everything. From here, explode backward. Since his leg is trapped, it will fly back. And that's your last defense against full Nelson. Okay, the next category is headlocks. Okay, again, very dangerous position to be in because the person can easily choke you or smash your head into something or whatever. So from here, first thing to remember, never turn your head in the opposite side toward this elbow here because you'll expose your trachea and that will be uh, absolutely devastating for you. So always turn your head into the person while you're being headlocked. In, the, <coughs> excuse me. in this first technique, what we're going to be doing is you're going to reach and grab the pressure point behind this knee from the front this time. Hook it and pull the knee this way, out. Okay? Just follow this one, one step at a time. Out. As you're doing that, snake your other arm out from the lock and strike into him with the elbow into the groin or lower abdomen. Whichever, you know, don't stand there and try to aim at something. Just strike back, remove your leg from under and drop down with him this way. As you hit the ground, continue striking. Groin, mid-side, if he tries to raise up this way into the face, hammer fist, continue striking until he's no longer a threat to you and then kind of roll out and get up as soon as you can. All right, we'll try to show it to you from, from a different side so you can see, maybe if we do sideways this way, you can see better. He puts me onto the headlock here. Okay, now watch what I do here. Again, this hand comes over here, on top of his knee, searches behind the knee for the pressure point and begin pulling forward. I'll snake my other hand out, strike, and then go down with him. Kick my leg up as I go in. One, two, three, four. Continue striking until I can safely get up. One more time, just one part, the, the beginning. Watch here, very carefully. One, start pulling out. Snake out here, strike. Then kick this leg out in front of you so it doesn't drop in top of your leg. And that's your first defense against the headlocks. Okay, the next defense against the headlock, it's got some similarities. This time again, turn your head into him. This time, the, the, uh, the hand and the pressure point of the knee go behind the knee. This way, pushing out, that way. As you're doing that, at the same time, reach out with your hand, with your other hand up here. Okay, you can grab. If he has hair, grab the hair, ponytail, whatever he has. If not, an article of clothing, his jacket, whatever. If he doesn't have anything, just stick your finger into, into the pressure point here. Okay? And stop pulling. So the action is push, pull at the same time. Push, excuse me, pull, push. This way. So this is what you're going to have. Okay? Very simple technique. One. It goes down, finish on the ground. I'm going to show it to you one time from the other side. Again, here, this is your technique right here, important part. Push in using your thumb, pressure point forward. The other hand grabs something here, and then, as I said, push pull very forcefully. When? And then you're right there to finish. And that's your second defense against headlock. Your next defense against the headlock. Okay. He's catching to the head like this time what you do, go down, turn your head into him, go down and grab his ankle, place your hand behind his ankle. At the same time, use this arm here, using the bone part, the ulnar here, and push against his thigh. As you're doing this, push and pull, that's it. He's going to wind up in this position. Okay, as soon as he hits the ground, one thing you want to do, maybe is place him into a leg lock. So scoot up a little bit, stick your, egg, your leg inside this way, 
and bring him into a lock and pull it. This is extremely painful for him. Okay? So be very careful when you practice with your partner. That's just one of the things you can do for, uh, on the ground. Okay. Again, from here, grab his ankle here from the front. Use your arm. Let go the hand like a second. I want to show you the movement here. One, this, against the side of the knee here. That buckles the leg and he goes down. You see that? Okay, now we're going to do it all together. He grabs me. One, one, two. He goes down. I go in and I lock. Yes. And I go in to finish. This is your lock right here. Or you can simply do this. That's your third defense against the headlock. This will be your last defense against headlocks. This time, what you're going to be doing as is holding you this way, two things at the same time. With this hand here, the outside hand over here, trap both of his hands. Just come in and trap him. With the other hand, come from underneath and strike his groin. Obviously, this is the movement you want to see. I can't do it on here. This is what you want to see. If you want to use a hammer fist going up this way, that's fine. I like open hand using the ball structure. One, right into his groin. Be gentle with your partner, of course. One, two. Okay, after you've done that, simply snake your head out behind him. And from here, you can put him in a variety of hammer locks and, and arm bar and stuff like that. Let's, not, let's concentrate on the first part here. Okay, from here, drop his hand, strike. Snake out this way, bring it up, here. Escort or take straight down, whichever you like better. Okay, and that's your last defense against the headlock. Now, in the bear hugs category, we're going to do uh, from behind with arms out. Again, this is a very advantageous position for, uh, for you because both of his arms are committed and both of yours are free to do things. So here what we're going to do immediately, we're going to try to get him with an elbow strike. It's not stupid, he's probably tucking his, his head behind you, so it may not be easy to reach him, but at least pretend it, it can be a distraction. Go ahead. Then immediately drop both of your hands in this type of strike, crossing your hand, using the palm heel of both hands. One here, right where there is index finger knuckle is, and same thing on the other side. Both of them at the same time, you see. That usually breaks uh, uh, the, the hold that it has on you. So from here, faking, one, from here, with the cross hand, grab his hand here, come out, and you have him into a center lock. Okay, and then from here you can take down or do whatever you need to do. Let's do it one more time here. Watch this part, it's very important, okay? Most people when they bear hug you this way will do this. Some people are not too bright, they will interlace their fingers this way. We'll cover that later. But most of the time this will be the position. So, one, regardless if you hit him or not, it's a good distraction. Then come back here, drop down. Very violent from here. Grab the back of his hand, step under this way, and you have him on a center lock. This technique can done both sides, left or right, depends on how you want to step out. Okay, just one more time quickly to show you this part here. Okay, one, grab, escape under, and you have your center lock here. Here, you can kick him and go into different things for me. The next technique is going to begin exactly the same way as the previous one, okay? Uh, you got a, a good movement, why not use it more than once? From here, same thing. One, go for your strike. You hit him or not, again, it's not important. It can be used as a distraction. Here, then drop down and break it, same way as before. One, and still grab the hand, same as before, you cross hand. Only this time, as you do that, feed it into the other hand as you're stepping out. And bring him into this wrist lock here. Now, he went down fairly easy. I put a lot of pressure on the wrist. But many times, it may not go so easy. So, from here, again, one, two, break away. 
feed it into the other hand. As you're coming around, it's still fighting, you're resisting you a little bit. Look what you got here. You have opportunity from the back leg, kick the common peroneal. That will drop him. Nice Charlie horse. Or kick the face from here. Wham! With a front kick. From here, you can go in a varietal technique. Take him straight to the ground, or switch into the arm bar, or going in for this one. There's so many variations that you can do. One more time, quickly. From here, one, two, pay attention to the hand now. Watch what I'm doing. Lifting him up, same as I did for the center line. But this time, I'm gonna feed it to my other hand and turn him this way. And that's your technique. In your last defense, we're gonna, again, imagine this time, he has made the stupid mistake of interlacing his finger. Uh, uh, in, in his bare hug. Okay, this gives you tremendous opportunity, of course. Drop down, lock your elbows in so he can't get away. He made the mistake, now he's stuck with it. From here, same side hand, reach and peel one of the fingers. Again, don't go like this, watch. There is no pain here going out. Where you want to do, one, want to peel and push the finger back into your own body, this way. Now again, if I keep the trap here, he has no place to go, I can just snap the finger, okay? But I'm gonna allow him to get out, to escape, by allowing him, by moving my arm here. So now, he's gonna let go here because this hurt. In the meanwhile, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna step out, come around here, bring him here uh, into me, and lock him. Okay, from here, different opportunities, of course, to switch into a full choke, breaking the finger, taking him down to the ground all different options that you have. Okay, let's do one more time. He has me here, okay, he's interlaced his finger. One, I'm gonna peel, as I'm peeling, I'm coming right out and doing it right here, okay? Very, very painful with this. Be very careful with your partner. And that's your uh, last defense against uh, the bear hug, uh, from the back, arms out. The next category is the category of a hair grab. Obviously, I keep mine very short, the little I have left. Uh, therefore, Pedro would basically pretend to grab my hair, okay? But the technique will work just exactly the same. As he places his, head, his hand uh, upon my head to grab my hair, okay, one thing you want to do is immediately trap it. You want to prevent the person from grabbing your hair and shaking your head back and forth or taking you down to the ground. So immediately you trap him. To prevent that or maybe that he's trying to rip your hair out so from here one two keep your elbows now wide but close so if he tries to punch you with the other hand you're protected if he tries to hit you okay so elbows close as soon as you do that kick him that's your distraction technique good shot to the groin or the thigh boom okay after you've done that uh, release one hand the cross hand and strike right at the elbow juncture there here. This will bring him down with you. Now you can safely uh, peel your head off his fingers after you hit him this way. And then just simply come back here and put pressure on his finger. You can go in the pressure point behind his neck. You can roll him over into a wrist lock. You can That's bring him uh, into different kinds of technique. Okay? Come on, Pedro. All right. One more time from this side. See a different angle from here. Again, one, two, secure, keep your elbows tight. Kick hard, then hit the, uh, the elbow juncture here. One, go down with him, bring him all the way down to the ground. Now it's not a threat to your hair anymore. Remove, finish with many different techniques. Or maybe you just run away. This technique is a real wrist breaker very, very dangerous, so be careful when you practice. Uh, let's do it from this side one time first. Same beginning as the other one. Trap, trap, elbows in, kick. Now this time what you want to do is crouch yourself down this way and push up, stepping under and across from here. As you come around, you just peel him off and you are into your, uh, your center lock, wrist lock. As I said, it's tremendously painful, so be careful when you practice. From here, there's a different perspective. One, one, two, 
Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to crouch down and then come back up. As I'm coming back up, I go under and across. I can also wind up into this type of technique here. I'm reversing on here. Okay, one time from this side, just the first part, the mechanics here. One, two, three. Watch what happens here. Go up. Now you're going to turn. Okay, turn into him. Peel him off. Bring him into this one. So many different finishes that you can do this. You can also step across a different way. One, two, from here, instead of stepping across this way, step across this way. You're maintaining the trap because you don't want it to rip your hair out. That's why you're doing it. And that's uh, the next hair grab defense. In your next defense, against the hair grab, it grabs you again, go in and trap. This time, however, use only one hand, the cross hand to trap. As you trap this way, come around with the other hand and strike right on, under the armpit as forcefully as you can. You may want to use a spear hand if you like it better or a, just a vertical punch, whatever works for you. But you're going to weaken the upper part of the body here, bam, this way. Then immediately bang your head this way, therefore rolling his arm. As you go here, attack the tricep tendon. Now you can peel him off safely and take him down in our arm bar. And we used many times before. From this side, he grabs me. I trap with the opposite hand, strike, bend to, to roll him, and just simply press him into the arm bar. Very simple technique, but you have to have all the elements in place. For instance, after you punch him, if you try to do this, it's not going to work. You got to first roll him this way and then attack here. That's how it's going to work. In your last defense against the hair grab, uh, number four, what you're going to be doing here, you're going to trap. This time, however, you're going to trap with the same side hand. At the same time as you're trapping here to prevent him from ripping your hair out, what you're going to do is strike the bicep here to bring him closer to you. You want him to come a little bit closer to you. One, as soon as you've done that, bring your hand out and reach for the tiger mouth here. Reach for the throat. Strike a little bit, but also secure a grip. Step behind him with your back leg and sweep him to the ground. One, when he hits the ground, then you can finish it with many different techniques and different type of locks and so on and so forth. Okay, let's show it to you from the other side. He trapped me now. Again, same side trap the first time. One. And this hand comes out, of course, protecting. In, in case he's trying to punch me, I can trap it and work from there. So from here, one, two, quick shot here. Then bring your head right away into the throat. Secure the pressure point here. Again, if you're too far away, you can't sweep him. So you may have to take one step here and then the second one there. He hits the ground, then decide what you do. Maybe again a ground arm bar this way, roll him over, and other different types of attack. Detail here, one more time. Again, same side, strike the bicep, that brings him a little closer to you, opens him up here, and immediately right into the throat here, and then you sweep and the takedown. And that's your technique. And that concludes tape number nine that has brought you to Black Belt with White Stripe. And we will see you again in tape number 10, the last in the series, which will bring you, hopefully, to first degree Black Belt in Kamba Hapkido. Good luck.